Now the M1 chip on this new Mac is the same processor family that runs iPads and iPhones and you can install many iPhone and iPad apps on your Mac if the developer wants you to. So if you go in and search for something that you want to try out, just go and run that search and then click on iPhone and iPad apps to see if it's compatible. Another thing you can do is click on your account here in the lower left hand corner and go over to iPhone and iPad apps and it'll pull up a list of everything that you have installed on your iPhone that's compatible with your Mac and you can install those apps and get them working here. So I did put a few on here already. Uh, so for example, the uh, Wise app that I run for my security cameras and my light bulbs here is compatible with uh, this Mac here. It does look a little weird to run this on screen here, but I can uh, go in, for example, and turn off my studio lights or turn them back on just like I would on my uh, iPhone, for example. This app doesn't format very well on the Mac screen, but it's usable, so that works. I was also able to load up my Unify control panel for my networking gear in the house. Uh, that seemed to work pretty well also. So there's some things you can definitely do here, but not every app that you run frequently is going to be compatible. So just be prepared for that. Uh, one thing that does work pretty nicely though are games and we can load up uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas here. Again, this is the uh, iPhone or iPad version of it that's going to load up on our screen. I can try to make this full screen here, but it doesn't seem to respond. So this is gonna be pretty much the biggest window I can get it in. And I'm gonna skip this and just resume the game real quick and kind of pick up where I last left off with it. One thing to note is that uh, it's not doing anything special from the control standpoint. So if you don't have a joystick attached, uh, you're going to not be able to play this game at all because typically this would require two hands on the screen. However, I did find for games that are compatible with uh, PlayStation and Xbox controllers that I was able to get those games to work when I have the controller attached via Bluetooth to the Mac. So there are things that you can do uh, to play these games if you have a game controller, but touch controls are going to be pretty much a non-starter for many games, even if they are compatible with the Mac, especially games that require you to have two hands on the screen to control. Now I'm sure some folks are gonna correct me because there is a touch alternative option here that does enable multi-touch on the trackpad. You have to hold down the option key though and it will recognize multiple fingers. But as you can see here, it's a bit of a contortion effort to get uh, everything to work with this game. So it might work well in certain apps, but I think for games, if the game controller doesn't work, you're probably gonna wanna stick to your iPhone or iPad. This channel is brought to you by the LAN.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Jim Peter, Tom Albrecht, and Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.